and it's official. Your boy is an author. Make Every Day a Wednesday book has finally arrived. That coronavirus pandemic tried to slow us down, but you know champions like us, we fight, we keep fighting. And now's the time. I just need your help, I need your support. You can go to amazon.com to get a copy, or if you want an autograph copy, go to freddyfry.com slash book page and your boy got you. You can get one copy, maybe get two copies. I just need your support, and I thank you in advance. So you're just gonna quit. So you're seriously gonna give up. You're gonna throw in the towel. Just because somebody hated on you? Just because their words penetrated your heart? Penetrated your soul? I want you to understand this. They said something. But you had to process what they said and give it the exact same meaning. They have the words, but you have the power. You're not the first person to be hated on. You're not the first person to be doubted. True champions, true winners, true success stories understand that hate, that doubt, that adversity, that pain are all prerequisites for prosperity and gain. But you're saying to yourself, Fry, this, this hate came from somebody that was close to me, so it cut me deep. Most of the time, the people who will stab you the quickest are those closest to you. Your so-called friends, your so-called homies, your so-called cronies. Oh yeah, they're there for you when you up. But when you down, they're the first ones to leave you lonely. If you don't hear nothing I say in this video, never, ever, ever be surprised at what another living human being does. I don't care how close they are to you. But I'm telling you right now, to your face, do not let their hate stop you. You got stuff to do. You got a dream, you got a goal, and you were working hard toward achieving it. And then the jealousy set in. Those closest to you, misery loves company. But you tell them right now, your misery will have absolutely none of my company. Because I'm moving on up. I'm proceeding forward. So I need you to pick yourself up off the deck right now because that's what champions do. And you have the heart of a champion. And right now I'm infusing you. If you feel like you ain't got enough, then you take some of my heart and pick yourself up because their hate will never break you. Their doubt will never break you. You are an original. You have a purpose. And right now it's time to get driven and time to drive yourself to next level success. I want you to look at it like this. If people are hating on you, that means you must be doing something right. So change your perspective. It's actually a positive thing. Then use it as fuel. I know for me, people hate on me all the time. And I'm really, really good at hitting that delete button. I'm really, really good at hitting that delete button on my mind and mentally erasing it and removing that thought process from my mental. And I need you to do the exact same thing. Gary V says, feel sorry for the haters. Feel sorry for those that are sending bad messages or saying bad things behind your back because they're the ones that's broken. They're the ones that's in pain. But do not waste your valuable time feeling sad, feeling sorry for yourself, or even being angry because you can't get that time back. Fuel. Let the hatred fuel you and drive you to give more than you've ever given in your entire life. Turn that hate into determination because there will be non-believers. There will be doubters. There will be haters. And then there will be you proving each and every one of them wrong. You got a hater to prove wrong. You got a doubter to prove wrong. You got a non-believer to prove wrong. And you got a you to prove right. So this is your moment to climb over the hump of their hate and make each and every day of your life 
a Wednesday. Never let their hate stop you. This is a great day to win. Let's go.